Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I believe today you guess what we're going to talk about. So I will make this video about the brand Floraiku. So this brand uh, was created, I believe, by the founders of the brand Memo Paris. Uh, and uh, yes, this is also the occasion for me to launch my first giveaway. So uh, the price will be a sample kit like this one. So this is the one that we'll be using for this video. But of course, this is not the one that we'll be sending to you. So if you want to know the details about the giveaway, uh, I believe I will put them in the description box below. And uh, that's it. Let's start. So I'm going to talk about the fragrances that are uh, in the sample kit. Up. And at the end, I'm going to talk about another one that was released just after this one. So I believe these were the first fragrances that they released. I think they have maybe 20 fragrances now, something like that, 19, 20 fragrances. So these are the first that were released. Uh, first of all, maybe let's talk a little bit about the concept of the brand. So Floraiku is um, named after, uh, I believe, Aiku <laughs> is part of the name. So the influence is uh, Japanese, so it's based on the... Um, Japanese poetry, the haiku, and I believe this is like um, uh, finding uh, perfection into simplicity also. So I believe that the, the fragrances are quite simple. They have just a few notes, but they are made to perfection and they are really beautifully blended. Um, honestly, I liked <laughs> everything that I tried. Uh, this is maybe not for everyone because I know that some people prefer to have really strong fragrances and really long lasting that project a lot and this is something that is really important for them. This is not at all this kind of concept here. Some of these fragrances are really long lasting and project a lot but most of them don't. So I prefer to warn you first. <laughs> uh, with this box you have also this little uh, leaflet and... Um, I don't know how you say that. And with the description of the fragrances, so I think it's really well made also to help you um, discover the fragrances. And you have also this little uh, haiku with all this, the, the the fragrances. And you have also the three notes that were used. So I believe they're, it's based on three notes for all of them. Maybe the top notes, the middle notes and the bass notes. And uh, yes, I believe that's it for all of them. Only three notes. Yes. Well, I believe there is maybe a bit more, but these are the uh, most important notes, let's say. And another concept about these fragrances, they have also uh, one lighter fragrance, I would say, one stronger, uh, to use for what they call shadowing. So basically it's layering your fragrance. If you want something lighter, brighter, or if you want something darker uh, and deeper, you can use that one. So I will start in the order. So the first one is the lighter fragrance, I believe, the one that can be used for shadowing and um, brighten your fragrance, you can say that. So the first one is Sleeping on the Roof, and I believe this is a soft floor. Okay, so I found it also on the paper. Yes, here. So this one is supposed to have uh, notes of Lily of the Valley, Orange Blossom and Amber Musk. Amber and musk, so it's two notes here. And yes, of course, the lily of the valley, what I smell the most in the opening, uh, followed by a beautiful orange blossom. I don't know for the for the amber, but I, I already smell the musk. I believe there's musk behind. And um, yes, this one is quite light. It's really soft, a soft floral, I would say, and quite easy to wear. Um, I wore it on my skin but I didn't really appreciate that one I remember because the musk is not something that I really enjoy <laughs> so if you love uh, light florals and white musk I believe you may enjoy that one and I think that's this one was created by uh, Alienor Massenet uh, she's also a nose of uh, Memo Paris and she created many of the these fragrances I believe I don't know if she created all of them but I believe she created most of them yeah, and this one is pretty sim pretty simple. Uh, yes, lily of the valley orange. Yes, this is exactly what you what you smell, what it smells like. Imagine this for maybe more uh, spring or early summer. Really beautiful light. Yes, 
like floral. But uh, I'm not sure this one has a good uh, longevity. I tried it on my skin and it was nice. It was soft. Um, this is the one to be used uh, for for the layering with the other one. So maybe that's why. So yeah, this for me, this one has nothing groundbreaking. It's nice. It's pleasant. But yeah. The second one, I believe it's the most famous one, is uh, One Umbrella for Two. If it can focus, maybe not. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, I believe I understand why <laughs> this one is so famous. Um, let me see on the, if I can find it in the book. Okay, before checking the notes, what I smell immediately when I spread it is uh, something fruity, um, like um, black currant, something like that. And something behind like a hazelnut. Maybe it's matcha because I know that some sometimes I'm a, it, this has this uh, a bit... I would say a bit roasted uh, nut, <laughs> something like that. And it's really pleasant, really attractive, really addictive, I would say. And to be honest, I tried it on my skin and tried it also uh, on paper. This one has the best longevity of the kit. Yes, and I believe this is the most famous one. So I, I found it here. Okay, this is what the bottle looks like. Also, I found it really, really beautiful. And uh, okay, the notes are black run absolute. Makes Genmasha tea, so I believe it's green tea and uh, cedar oil. Okay, I'm not sure I get a lot of cedar, maybe later, but I have a lot of the these two first notes. And to be honest, the blend is really beautiful. It's, it's quite strong, really long lasting. It's um, quite unique also. I haven't smelled anything similar compared to the first one that is maybe more common, I would say. If you like tea, if you want to try something. Uh, fruity, more unique. I believe it can work all year long because it's still quite strong. Yeah, this is a beautiful one. I really enjoy it. And um, yes, to be honest, I bought um, a travel <laughs> size of this one. Yeah, because I believe I have nothing similar in my collection. and I'm, But still, I'm not sure that I'm going to wear it a lot because this is quite a particular peculiar scent. So I don't know. I wanted to check first if I needed a full bottle because they are quite expensive too. We're going to talk about this at the end. <laughs> um, yeah, and this one was created also by uh, Eleanor Masney. The next one is called um, uh, The Moon and I. I like the name. Oh, yes, okay, I remember that one. It's the one that smells like uh, green tea. <laughs> it has the exact uh, smell of the... Of tea leaves, you know, when you're making tea, if you're drinking tea, you recognize the smell. When you're drinking, yes, uh, this, uh, yes, exactly, that's the scent of the, of the tea leaves. It's like um, putting your head in a teapot, <laughs> of, full of green tea. This is exactly what it smells like to me. So, I believe if you love tea, you're gonna really enjoy it. But still, it's a bit. Um, it has this um, this bitterness, I would say, that you can find in a, find in a green tea. You know, if when you let it infuse a bit too uh, for too long, the tea can have this uh, bitter um, yes, can have this bitter uh, uh, taste. And uh, this is a little bit what I have here. Yes. So if you yes, I believe if you love green tea, you're gonna enjoy it, but. Still, you have this um, a bit of bitterness, so I believe there's tea and uh, maybe mate because mate has a uh, yes this bitterness that sometimes doesn't always work on my skin. So I haven't tried that one on skin, but yeah, I'm curious to know because yes, I know that this note can be a bit tricky on me. Um, if I check the notes in the book, okay, so this is what the bottle looks like. I think it's really gorgeous. I love the, the this one. It's really, really beautiful. I love the cap. And um, what does this one say? Matte Absolute. Yes, that's it. Matcha tea. So this is the, the, the green tea and cedar oil. Okay. So I believe the cedar oil is what you get in a dry down. But I remember on paper, on the dry down, I had only the tea. <laughs> the tea leaves. So it's really well made. 
but still do I want to smell like a teapot? I don't know. <laughs> but it's a really, really beautiful one. I think it's well made, but on my skin, I'm not sure it's going to work well. Mm -mm. That's always the problem. The next one is one that I really enjoyed, and it is... Uh, I, I'm coming home, I believe. I come home, I'm coming home, if I can see. If I can... <laughs> If I can read it, so it's too small. I'm coming home, yes, that's it. And this one is a beautiful citrus fragrance. If you love citrus for summer, I believe you're gonna really enjoy that one. Oh, yes, the opening. I smell a beautiful bergamot. Something I didn't say, but I believe to me, all these ingredients smell like really good quality to me. So the quality is there. It's really simple, but really good quality fragrances. Ah, yes, the bergamot is beautiful. This is what I smell the most here. I don't know after that what there is. Mainly citrus, maybe grapefruit, I don't know. And uh, is it tea also? You know, this has this... Um, it's light, it's citrusy, it's fresh. Okay, let, let me check on the book what they say. I believe this one was created by uh, Sophie Labbé, like the previous one. Okay, where is it? Okay, I'm coming home. Another beautiful bottle. Oh, ginger. Oh, yes. Okay, I understand why. I love it. <laughs> I love ginger and cardamom. Oh, yes, they're really beautiful here. But I smell more the ginger and, and the tea, maybe, than the cardamom. Yeah, I would have to wait and... Yes. But still, I don't see the bergamot here. I'm surprised because, to me, this is what I get in the opening. I have something like ginger, bergamot. Lots of citrus, white tea, and the cardamom maybe will come later, but for the moment it's a bit behind. A really beautiful, uh, simple scent, um, completely unisex. I, I didn't say, but um, all these fragrances are unisex to me, completely unisex, but you can wear whatever you want. But I believe the men and women won't have any issues uh, wearing these uh, fragrances, even if they don't feel comfortable wearing um, other sex fragrances. And oh yes, this is yeah this kind of fragrances that I love, perfect for spring summer. Still, this one reminds me a lot one that I already have, which is um, bergamot calabria. So if you already have bergamot calabria, maybe you don't need that one. And uh, also yes, the price is not the same. <laughs> so this is just a hint. Yeah? If you love that one, maybe you can try also bergamot calabria, which is uh, Naku Allegoria by Gala. I will put the try to put the picture on screen. But still, this is one that I really, really enjoy. Uh, uh, this is my taste. <laughs> okay, the next one is... Uh, what is it called? I see the clouds go by. And I think that one was created also by Alienor Massenet. No, oh, okay, I remind that one. <laughs> so, let me see if I can find it on the book. In the meantime, uh, what I smell is something like red fruits. Um, when I sprayed it the first time, um, it reminded me of when I went with my grandma in the forest to pick up uh, some red fruits. Some, I said, is it, is it black currant? Is it? How do you say it in English? Blackberries. This is what it smells like to me. You have the smell of the forest. The smell of the trees, with this uh, fruity smell of the red fruits. So this is really something that reminded me of that. Uh, yeah, it's a bit floral and musky. It reminded me a bit of so of uh, is it the, the, um, the, the I said the background of the fragrance, the the base reminded me a bit of uh, uh, this fragrance by Diptyque, L'ombre dans l'eau. No, it has this uh, kind of vibe to me. Yes, this is really pleasant and fresh and uh, something for spring, I believe. Yes, okay, let, let's check the notes on the leaflet. And let's see if I can find it. I like the name of the fragrances. They are really poetic, I believe. So this is it. Yes, with the... Um, oh, a blossom. Cherry blossom tree. So I believe there's cherry blossom in that one. Oh, yes. Cassis, absolutely. So it's cassis, the red fruit that I could smell. Yes, makes sense. Cherry blossom, okay, so this is the floral part. And white musk. 
Yeah, the mask here remind me of the Lombo dans l'eau. And also Luna, I believe, by um, Pen Halligans. Yeah, so I believe if you like Lombo dans l'eau and Luna, maybe you would enjoy that one too. And yeah, it's a beautiful one. It's pretty, It's but it's quite simple also, like the first one. So yeah. It's pretty and simple. So I think they are all easy to wear. Um, except maybe Umbrella Photo, which is maybe a bit more unique. This one is pretty and yeah, and easy. <laughs> yes. Okay. Let's jump to the next one. The next one, I believe, is a Cricket Song. If I don't make any mistake. Uh, what is it? <laughs> Yes, that's Cricket Song. Mm, okay, really beautiful fall. So I believe Cricket Song, like the, the previous one, I see the clouds by the... By the, by the what? <laughs> I see the clouds go by, I know. Um, uh, these two are created also by... Uh, were created by Alina Massene. Oh, I see something maybe like a, an apple in the opening. I have something like apple and white floral. Mm -hmm, I have something really interesting. But really beautiful, elegant. Simple, something that also that could be wear, worn for spring and summer, summer night. I believe it would be really pleasant. I don't know what's the white floor behind exactly. It smells like a mix to me. A bit citrusy and apple in the opening, fruity and um, fruity white floor. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, let's check the notes. Uh, so cricket song. This is one that I also really enjoy. I think it's uh, simple but beautiful. This one is maybe a bit more feminine, but if you're a man and feel comfortable wearing white floors, I believe you would enjoy that one. Okay, I found it. Oh, that's one with the birds. No, it's it's a tree. Okay, cricket song. They say about that one walking in the darkness. A cricket song. How to read the heat is okay. So maybe this is for summer. Oh, bergamot oil, okay, so this is the citrus part. Magnolia, okay, so this is the white floor. Oh, yeah, it's really beautiful. And vetiver, okay. Funny how far the base notes are ones that I didn't smell so far, but really it's normal because they appear just later. But the apple, I smell something like apple, it's not uh, mentioned. It's fruity to me, this one. Yeah, this is a pleasant one. Maybe not ground making, but this is one that I really enjoy. I can see myself wearing it easily. Yeah. Really beautiful. I believe they made an air spray of that one. And I think I would enjoy that too. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> me and my hairspray. I'm still in my uh, hairspray spray, uh, period, I would say. So. Okay, the next one. <clears throat> what is it? Is uh, the first first dream of the year? If it can focus, okay. <laughs> you have to believe me then. Okay, let's wait. Mm, lots of orange blossom here. Beautiful floral. I believe I may prefer that one to the first one, maybe. Mm, lots of citrus. I'm wondering if it doesn't have something like narrowly. It has a little bit of this. Um, Say, um, maybe a bit vintage vibe, you know, this nearly sometimes reminds me a little bit of grandma's. <laughs> like, I don't know, at some point, maybe they used to all wear fragrances with nearly, I don't know. But this has a little bit of that in that one. Yes. Otherwise, it's a beautiful orange blossom, green. I believe it has some nearly and some citrus in the opening. Otherwise, I don't know what's what's in it. Okay, let's check here. I think that one was created also by Alina Massene. Okay, let me check where it is. Okay, this one. First dream of the year. Ooh. Like the illustration. What is it on the cap? It's a bird. Looks like a bird. Okay. Um... And what are the notes? Okay, grapefruit oil. So this is the citrus. Orange blossom, yeah, for sure. It doesn't look like there is um, narrowly, but maybe they don't say. And iris concrete. Okay, I didn't smell it. Iris here. 
Yes, because the grapefruit is so strong and bitter, I would say. Yes, I cannot smell the iris so far. It's nice, it's full, it's uh, but it's a little bit um, grammar like to me. <laughs> this is beautiful, but maybe not my kind, not my taste. This is not something really unique, or so. So, this is good, but not really unique and uh, groundbreaking. I believe you can find that maybe somewhere else. Uh, I'm thinking about, um, what is it? Um, a Parfum de Nicolai, they have some great uh, Neroli fragrances. I think about Cap Neroli or what is the other one? Neroli Intense. So, yes, they are really cheaper and maybe, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> this is something I need to put in perspective also when I'm smelling a fragrance and I know the price. If it's really expensive, yes, for sure, I have some great expectations. I love simple fragrances like, um, for example, I love Hermesence collection. This is something that reminds me a little bit of, um, um, yes, Jean-Claude Elena's work in the sense that um, it's pure simplicity and perfection. Um, he doesn't like people to use that word talking about him, but this minimalism that I find in his fragrances, I find it also somewhere in these ones, in the Alina Massene's work here. Yeah, I think she did a great work, but... Yes, this is maybe not something I would put uh, 250 euros in, but still it's beautiful. Okay, the next one is called My Shadow on the Wall, I believe. Yes, that's it. Maybe you can see it like that. Yeah, better. <laughs> so, My Shadow on the Wall. And this one, I remember, was created by Alina Massenet also. Let me remind. Ah, yes, okay. Really floral. I have, uh, I believe it's a mimosa. I have something that's like citrus. And Mimosa. What is it? This umbrella for two is just uh, <laughs> projecting so much that I could almost smell it too here. Yeah, just smell something like citrus in Mimosa. I don't know. And Mimosa is not one of my favorite notes, but still. Here it's not that, uh, you know, it can have this uh, vintage vibe. And yes, and be really powdery. It's not always something that I love. I like powdery fragrances, but sometimes, I don't know, mimosa is a chicken out to me. Yeah, and I'm talking about mimosa, I don't even know if there is mimosa in that one. So what is it um, already? Okay, my, let me find it. Oh, yes, okay, that's this one. Um, oh, I love the cap too. It's really beautiful. What is it? Clouds? Maybe dark and, and light clouds? I don't know what it is, but oh, it's really beautiful. Okay, my shadow on the wall. Uh, violet leaf, absolute. Okay, I wouldn't guess. <laughs> Mimosa, okay, that's it. And sandalwood, okay. So definitely one that I would have to try on skin too because sandalwood is uh, tricky on me. Yeah, this Mimosa, I don't know. Still, it's quite modern for Mimosa fragrance. I don't really get the violet leaf. Maybe it's my nose, I don't know, but it's a pity because I love that note. Oop. I love violet and violet leaves. And I am. Mimosa, I don't know. It's not really my taste. I'm not fond of this one. Yeah. For me, this one is a pass. Okay. It depends on taste, I believe, but still, it's not, it's not bad. <laughs> it's well blended, but yeah, you really have to enjoy Mimosa too, like that one. This is the strongest note here. I don't really get the violet leaf. I would enjoy to have this, uh, sometimes it has also this uh, little bit of leathery vibe that I like. I don't have anything like this here. Just the mimosa. <laughs> okay. Uh, the last ones, I believe, are the, st yeah, the strongest ones. Yeah. Not really because the, the umbrella for two is really strong, but in the notes, um, these were supposed to be the strongest one, and they are. To me, in the opening, they are, they are maybe not as long lasting as uh, Umbrella for Two, but yeah. So the next one is um, Sound of a Ricochet. Oop. I believe it's quite famous too, if it can focus. Okay, you'll have to believe me then. <laughs> yeah, okay, so that one smells like a amber, ambery fragrance. Beautiful note of vanilla in here. 
I, rem I remember that the vanilla is the note that we, uh, yes, that was uh, really lasting the longer on my skin because I tried that one on skin too. It's really beautiful. I I, I love the evolution of it. Um, yes, to me it's just amber and but a bit spicy. Is it cinnamon? I don't know. <sighs> yes, with amber and vanilla. Pretty simple, but quite well made, and uh, this is a good one. I'm I'm quite difficult with my amber fragrances. This can be a uh, yes, love or pass for me. And this one, this one is a good one. I believe this is one that I would enjoy. It remind me, uh, what is this one? By Jean Claude Elena. Yeah. <laughs> is it low uh, d'ambre extreme? Okay, I will put the name of the bottle. And in the sense that this is um, quite simple, refined, and uh, the vanilla is really, really present. Um, in some amber fragrances, it's more or less present, but here it's really present and it's really beautiful. Yeah, I like that one. Really good vanilla. Quite strong, quite spicy. It's uh, My nose is tingling, so I believe it has lots of uh, spices and... Uh, natural materials <laughs> yeah I have the same distinguishing sensation sometimes with the, some materials I have it a lot for example in the what is this one the, the vanilla vanille Havan from Les Indes Monales oh, this fragrance is my nose is tingling a lot and I'm also sneezing I, I, I believe this is something I couldn't wear but here it's uh, yeah I can manage that <laughs> okay let's see the notes maybe yeah uh, that one. Okay, what do they say? Okay, what is it on the cap? Is it a... Yeah, is it an insect? Oh, I can't really see it. Oh, dragonfly, I believe. Yeah, okay. So, this is the one. Vanilla Absolute. Okay, Tonka Bean. Okay, and Sandalwood. Okay, I believe there are other notes that are not listed here, like Club Denim, um yeah, I don't know, I smell something like labdanum here. Vanilla labdanum. Yeah, the tonka bean. And the sandalwood, maybe not yet. <laughs> but still, this is a beautiful one, I believe. Yeah, a lot of people could enjoy that. Men would love that, women too, if you love amber fragrances. Yes. And but then still, amber fragrances are is the kind of fragrance that you can, yeah, that has already been done a lot. So yeah, maybe you can find something similar also. Just saying. <laughs> but see, I believe this is one that I would enjoy to have as a maybe travel spray. Yeah, why not? Okay, let's see the next one. Okay, the next one was also created by um, Sophie Labbé and it is My Love Has a Color of the Night. Okay, up. Whoop. Let me show you. Okay, yes, this is the one. So, if I remember correctly, the last two ones were quite woody. Oh, yes, okay. <laughs> oh, and it's spicy. It reminds me of something else, but I can't. My, I can't put my finger on it. What is it? It's something spicy and woody. It's nice. Maybe men could like this one a bit more. Woody, lots of patchouli and spices to me. Okay. Wow, but it's it's nice. My nose is tingling <laughs> a bit here. Mmm, it's good quality. Yeah, the patchouli is really nice. Mm, I believe if you like patchouli, you may like that one too. Mm -mm, good quality. Okay, yeah. what where is it? Ah, is it that one? Ah, it's in the Forbidden Incense line. Yes, because I didn't talk about this, but they have some um, different line. A floral one, incense one, uh, enigmatic flowers one or so. And this one is part of the Forbidden Incense. So, ah, yes, what is it? Gaia cook oil, okay. Patchouli oil and vetiver oil, yes. Uh, yes, and um, I believe it has. 
Yeah, smell again some citrus, but it may come from the, the vetiver. That sometimes has the little citrus vibe. Greenness, let's bring by it, but the patchouli is a bit earthy, but oh, it's really beautiful. I love the patchouli in that one. Really well made. Mm, that's a good one. That's a good woody fragrance. Yeah. And has a little bit of this uh, soil, uh, earthy um, scent, I believe, from coming from the patchouli and the vetiver. The quality is really good. Yeah, I like that. Mm, yes, that's another good one. <laughs> and the last one, I remember it was also quite woody. Uh, what was it? I don't remember the name. But, uh... Oh, okay. Between two trees. Okay, you, you can't see it. Okay, well, you have to believe me also. <laughs> okay, between two trees. When, with a name like that, of course, it's woody. Okay, let me see. Oof, yes. Mmm. <laughs> oh, citrus here. Lots of citrus also. Mmm, it's nice. So basically, this one is citrusy, green, woody. I wouldn't tell which note exactly. I don't know if it's bergamot and maybe tea again. Have something like tea, bergamot and tea, and something woody, maybe cedar. Okay, I don't know. <laughs> so this one, I believe this one also. Yes, this is the last one. So this is the one which is uh, used also for the shadowing. So ah yes, this is the one between two trees. If you can focus, yes, okay, and it's oh, grapefruit oil, mate, okay, mate absolute, and vetiver, yeah, again, really beautiful, good quality, nice, nice, I, I like that one. I believe, yes, this would be nice for mid season, like spring and autumn, or maybe all year long, yeah, it could be working. I haven't tried honestly to um, mix them, to layer them. Like layer this one with another one. Uh, I don't know. I like the concept of layering, but still, um, I mean, these fragrances, these fragrances are so expensive. If you need to layer them to have something <laughs> that you like, um, at some point it's getting too expensive. You know, if you need to spend five hundred euros to get a fragrance because you need to layer two different fragrances. I'm okay with that concept. Like uh, if the fragrance is fifty euro, okay. You layer two fragrances for 100 euro and you have something you like, you can change them, you can mix them. But for that price, layering is a bit um, too much <laughs> for me. <laughs> Let's see, that's a good idea, but yeah. But I believe this is one that you can easily wear by by itself. It's, yes, I find, I find it uh, already beautiful like it is. And yes, again, completely unisex. I can see myself wearing it, I can see my boyfriend wearing it, so... Yeah, no problem with that. Okay, okay. now we are going to talk about the packaging. So I'm going to show you the bottles that I have. So I believe they had the first version and then they changed, the, they changed it to a second version. So let's see the first version that they released. So this is the box. So this is part of the first version they released. I mean, what you have in the sample kit is part of the first fragrances they released, so this is one of the first fragrances. And up this one, okay. first let's see the box. So I found the box really beautiful. And um, yes, I believe it's uh, it's supposed to be a cherry blossom tree, a cherry tree, I don't know how you call that, in Sakura, in, um, in Japanese and uh, Let's open the box. Yes, okay. So this fragrance, this one, I get it second hand, so maybe that's why it's not really perfectly clean, but this is part of the first release. I believe also, maybe you can see it, but they changed the packaging in the meantime, and I believe this is why, because it was really fragile. Um, I will show you the, the last uh, fragrance that they released. The packaging is a little bit different. I believe it's a little bit better. But yes, hopefully for that price, they, they can release something good. Yes, because um, 
of course it's the packaging is stunning i find it really really well made and uh, well thought so you have the bottle so this one is i'm coming home which is the light citrus one uh, and you have also the, the cap which is also a travel atomizer so if i can show you yes up it's really interesting so if you remove the cap uh, if i can remove it sorry <laughs> So if you remove the cap, which is, I don't know if it's leather. I don't think so. I don't think it's leather. I don't know. But yes, it's really, really beautiful. So the bottles are 15, uh, not 15, <laughs> 50 ml bottles. Uh, and you have with it the, you have this uh, travel uh, atomizer, travel sp Yes, we'll see this travel spray, not the sprays here, but the travel atomizer. And you can put it inside. Okay, yes, because I have the camera in the middle, so yes. And you have this little um, cap that you can add. Oh, let me see if I can manage to put it. Yeah, okay, stupid me, it's not fitting. <laughs> So this is the first time I tried, but yeah, so I say, okay, maybe there is an issue now. Okay, makes sense. That's the, <laughs> that's the one. <laughs> okay, that's the cap. Oh my God, it's quite heavy. Wow, it's really heavy. Okay. Wow. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I can take it in your purse, but still that's a, <laughs> that's a big, uh, wow. Let me put it, yes. The cap is so heavy, but see, it's really, it's really beautiful. I like what they did with it. What I like less, that's what I said, is the price because yes, for the um, whole box, uh, for the 50 ml, uh, so with the travel spray, uh, uh, it's uh, 250 euro, I believe, in, in France, and um, you can, you can also buy the. Um, this little uh, atomizer, the refill. So you can buy them. You can buy them for, I believe it's fifty or fifty-five. I believe fifty-five euro. So yes, this is good also to discover. Yes, to 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 check if you need the full bottle. So, and uh, you have it in a little pouch. So yes, I find it really convenient. So I bought also uh, just the atomizer like this the spray ah the travel atomizer <laughs> the refill i bought it for um what is it the, the other one um one umbrella for two and i found it quite convenient because i'm not sure one umbrella for two is a fragrance that i will wear a lot i love it but um, this is quite particular and i don't know if this is something that i will i'm gonna be reaching for a lot so before buying the full pack, this uh, which cost uh, yes 250 euro, I wanted to be sure that I was able to finish the travel size first. So I believe it's 10 ml. Yes. Up. So ah, and you have also the little uh, poem that goes with it. Yeah, the description and the two other fragrances that you can use for shadowing. So you'll see this was the first version. It's a little bit different now. Yeah, and this is the, the fragrance that I have. So this was released uh, when they had just a few fragrances. Okay, let me put this back in the bottle, in the, in the box. So this is the first one that I have. I'm gonna show you the second one. Okay, so let's see the second packaging that I have. So, yeah, I'm sorry if you hear some noise. That's my boyfriend practicing uh, <laughs> singing. So yeah, there's nothing I can do about it. Um, okay, so this is what the box looks like now. So they added this part. Yes, which is. I believe more convenient to um, hold this uh, glass. I don't know if it's plastic glass because otherwise it was, um, yeah, it was losing it. Uh, yeah. 
And this is the one that I have. So this is the one that I bought. It's uh, just a rose. Um, yeah, and um, I believe, yes, maybe you would have guessed. <laughs> because if you know me, you know that I love rose and I love also really simple uh, rose when it's really well made. And uh, yeah, <laughs> this is what this one is. I love the cap. I think it's really beautiful with this um, sounds. Up. Yes, you have the rose, but you have also the the, stone, the thorns. The thorns. It's really hard to say in, for a French person. And uh, yes, it's the same system. You have the okay. <laughs> Let me remove that. Yeah, you have the the um, travel size uh, atomizer, and um, where well, you can put the, the refill here. And this is also the 50 ml uh, bottle. So I noticed lately that they released also some uh, 100 ml bottles and they don't have all these um, accessories, <laughs> let's say. They just have the, the cap or not the cap like this, not this cap, but this one. I believe they just have or maybe a shorter cap than this one. And the fragrance is also less expensive. So you have twice the amount of uh, fragrance and uh, but you don't have all these accessories. And um, I believe it's for 200 euro. I uh, will put the exact price on the screen. And I saw that they released it for Cricket Song, for example. So I think that's a, yeah, that's also a good solution. If you are sure to use the whole, you love the fragrance, you are sure to, to use the 100 ml bottle, which is not necessarily my case, but still it's less expensive than the 50 ml with all the accessories. Which is nice for gift. I believe it can make a really beautiful gift for someone. But still, uh, for me, the price is really the thing that uh, the negative aspect of this brand. Otherwise, I love every. I love what they what do. I love the fragrances. I love the concept. But the price is um, yes a little a little bit um, the negative aspect <laughs> of it. So let me put it back. But still, the packaging, I think it's stunning. I like the idea, but yeah, I don't know. I hope that they can be able to release yeah, something um, less expensive. <laughs> and they, I noticed also that they had some um, other product, like um, a product for the car, maybe fragrances for car. And um, they have also uh, hairsprays that are, yes, I think it's also a good solution. Like I also enjoy Cricket Song and I believe maybe, I don't know, maybe I'm going to buy either the 100ml bottle, which is less expensive, so without this uh, this part, or I'm going to take the hairspray, it's going to be nice also for summer. So I don't know, let's see. So voila, I hope that you enjoyed my video. Uh, if you try this brand, don't hesitate to tell me in the description box what you think about this and what are your favorite fragrances from this brand. Don't also forget to participate to the giveaway. I will put the information in the description box. And uh, yes, I didn't talk about it, but this is also to celebrate my thousand followers on Instagram. So yes, I took the opportunity to offer you uh, this um, sample kit. So voila, to try this brand that I really enjoyed this one. This was a great uh, discovery at the end of beginning of the year. And uh, come back often to sniff the, the the samples and yeah, and the two fragrances that I got also I believe will be perfect for spring. So voila, <laughs> I hope to see you later in another video. Bye. <laughs>